You got a problem, Bat? Yeah, I got a problem. I got a problem with you attacking my family. Now get fucking lost or I'll bite your fucking head off. You tell him, honey. Yeah! Go, Daddy! I'm not attacking your family. Oh, you just barged into our home to borrow a cup of sugar then, yeah? I'm just walking by. This is a public area. That's what they all say. Bats are supposed to live in caves. Yeah, well, our caves got a squatter. That? I could clean that out in like a minute. Oh, really? Or are you just pulling my wings? Sure. I'll just go in there and lay down some mouse traps. I hope not. My ass is getting sunburned. Shh. Cool down. Cockers are free. I don't want to burn my fingers off. Gotta give Clementine a breather. Before. What? When? Oh, uh, never mind. Saving our home and all. But we're trying to sleep in here, so keep it down. 
Okay. Ride my sweet nectar. Love fountain. Shaka supreme. Love fountain. Keeping this land safe. Titan civilization exploded with new art and technology. Their cities flourished with culture and echoed with the sound of pounding metal as gleaming skyscrapers were hammered out of Ormagodon's flesh and vaulted against the sky. From this collision of artistic passion, invention, and sonic overload, a new kind of music was born. It was as hard and heavy as the Fire Beast's metallic flesh. It had the power of his blood, the heat of his fire, the speed of his flight, and the mighty roar of his death cry. But it also had the angelic beauty of Aetulia's song, and a touch of her mournful wail. Its words told the story of a fierce and noble age. It was an anthem of the people, and they called it Heavy Metal. Marching around, kicking ass. We're on patrol. <laughs> <laughs> 